Hello, welcome back with another video. For this one, I would like to show you how you can transfer data from WhatsApp from your iPhone into Android. So if you switch from iPhone to Android, this is a good software that you can transfer WhatsApp message. Now, as you can see here, I have the iPhone 8 and have WhatsApp on my device. Then I want to transfer from my iPhone 8 to um, the Android one. And then you need to connect both of these devices into your PC. And for iCareFone for WhatsApp transfer, you can get a discount and grab the coupon from my video description. Now I'm gonna connect my both devices into this PC. Now on your Android device, make sure you select on transfer files. Now on iCareFone for WhatsApp transfer, you need to select on WhatsApp. Then it will bring you into this page where you can see source, you have destination. So I'm gonna transfer from my iPhone 8 into this Android device. Now I can click on transfer. Then I can click on continue. Then after the software is back up your phone, now it's time to verify target account so you need to select your country and for me it would be Cambodia so I can just select on this then I'm gonna change to Cambodia and then I need to enter my phone number finally I can click on verify and I'm gonna click on continue then I'm gonna click on continue again then it will send me the verification code so where I can get from my old device here so you can see Finally, I can click on verify one more time. Now it is transferred successfully, so I can just go to my Android device and then I can go to WhatsApp. I can just go to WhatsApp, so if I don't have, I need to go to Play Store and install WhatsApp one more time. Now I can click on install. Now let's click on open. Then I can just click on agree and continue and I need to enter my phone number one more time then I can click on next I can click on OK and it will send a code into my older device which is my iPhone 8 now I'm gonna wait for the message so here's the code then I can click on continue click on allow allow one more time then I'm gonna click on restore and I can click on next and I'm gonna put my name now you should be able to see your older message. So I have one message available. Then you can see my older message, which is from my older device. So you can see here. So I have one message available. Finally, thanks for watching. I hope this video will help you. Then I will catch you guys in the next one.